in this clip, we're going to be drawing the uh, points of maximum camber and depth in the sail. For this Omega 14 jib, we're going to put the point of maximum camber at 32% aft to the left. Remember, this sail is lofted starboard side up for good luck. So we can take a, we can take a ruler or a tape measure, go from our string that's going to approximate our leech hollow. So not from the straight line leech, but from our hollowed leech. And go to our left position. In this case, it's 77 and a half inches. Now the sail you're building might have different measurements, but it's all the same process. So I take 77 and a half into the calculator, multiply by 0.32. That means our point of maximum camber is going to be at 24.8 inches. 24 and 3 quarter, I usually make just a little mark there so I know when I go to do my broad seaming, that's where the maximum camera goes. When you're doing your broad seaming marks, it's also a good time to kind of check the rest of your sail and make sure that you've made all of the marks where they need to be. If you mark in this fashion, you won't be confusing your panels and you'll make sure that everything lines up good from the get-go. So we'll keep measuring all these panels all the way up the sail. So like this seam width here is 60 inches. 60 times 0.32, 19.2 inches. We'll put a little mark. And for our next seam up, it's 42 and a half inches long times 0.32. 13.6 inches. And in our final seam, 27 inches. The top seam is totally flat. Once you pull it up off the floor, there's no going back, so be sure it's perfect. Okay, pull your pins with confidence.